lived in nearby neighborhoods. Uh, I lived in Country Club Crest, better known as the Crest, and uh, Mr. Bethel lived in the Lofus area. Okay, those are two places that African Americans were allowed to buy homes at that time. Uh, my connection to Mr. Bethel after that is just that I decided to come to this school because I had been working at Solano Junior High School and I was going to stay there. I was content and when I read the article about Mr. Bethel and all of his accomplishments and all the things that he had did, I figured, well, why not go to Jesse Bethel and represent Mr. Bethel being the first black chemist on Mare Island, the first black school board member, the first in a lot of things for the city of Vallejo. So I saw it as like kind of like a duty or an honor to go and try to make the school represent his name and his person. He saw so much, uh, I guess you'd say, inequality. He started in New York and uh, eventually migrated to California. He just wanted to make sure that everybody was treated fairly and equally, and he saw to it that that happened if he was around. And although he had some unfortunate circumstances as a young person, he overcame all those to still go to college, still earn his degree, still become the first black chemist on the island, still become the first black school board member. Instead of having a bunch of excuses on why he couldn't achieve in life, he let his circumstances motivate him to achieve in life. And his efforts on the school board was, I don't want to just do things for black kids, I want to do things for kids who are motivated and want to succeed in life. He was somebody who cared about the youth, the youth here. Look at his starting point and where he ended up. Um, and that was not because he was given a free ride or what he did was through his hard work, um, using what God had given him, his brain and, and his ingenuity. So where you start does not mean where you finish. I do know that the reason our school colors are black and old gold is because Jesse Bethel was a member of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, which is a historical black fraternity. So it wasn't just a random, hey, we think this will look good in our community. It was a, this is to commemorate his uh, historical black fraternity. He was always an inspiration to me. His leadership in that he always tried to make sure that everyone was treated equally. That's what I remember the most about him. He would try to crack jokes, you know, he would try to have a light side. He would always tell me that he's the best fisherman of Vallejo, which I knew that was a crock of stuff, you know. <laughs> because, yeah, see, so he was well-rounded, you know, and he would say, oh, you can't outfish me, you know, sir. I think the best way to describe Mr. Bethel is that he led by example. He would expect you to do certain things, but he also expected the very same things of himself. So, you know, Mr. Bethel was like, he was like a trailblazer like a Martin Luther King, like a Malcolm mixed for our small little city, but he was that kind of person.